How are we all doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video and I'd like to say thank you very much for last night's live. Uh, what a fantastic time. It was great. Thanks for all the well wishes and super chats. What a great night. You all made it. You really did. Uh, it was fantastic. And um, I did mention on that live that I have got um, a review coming up. This will be going out probably Sunday. And uh, I've had it in my fridge. A bit of Tesco. Come and have a look what I've got. And here it is. A Ginsters Cornish Pasty Original 100% British Beef. The nation's favourite. Enjoy me hot, enjoy me... What does that say? Enjoy me hot, enjoy me hot. I thought it was going to say enjoy me cold. So they're wanting you to eat it. Hot. I have reviewed this, well not this one obviously, but I have reviewed one like this and it was two years ago I had to look back in my comparison playlist. I did it against a Asda and a Tesco, I think, and a Morrison's. But I didn't look at it in detail, but I'm going to look at it in detail now because I reviewed one from Morrison's, the actual bakery. Uh, a couple of weeks ago and I got quite a few messages on Instagram and on Facebook saying and on YouTube saying um, referencing Ginsters so I thought I'd give it a whirl again and see the differences two years later and I tell you what the nothing's changed apart from the price as you can expect the ingredients are exactly the same and the price has gone up uh, quite a lot but I'm not going to go on about the price so let's take a look at the packaging. The first question I'd like to ask is, do people in Cornwall eat these pasties? Or pasty? Please let me know if you're from Cornwall. Please let me know if you eat these. I would be very interested. And what do you think of them? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to know. Um, so we've had a look at the front. Let's go around the back. So there is uh, some nutritional information in a traffic light system. 597 calories in this pasty. There's some spiel. British minced beef with potato, onion and swede. Distinctly seasoned with pepper. Now on the other one it says wrapped in a light puff pastry. This one's saying encased. They're the ingredients. Exactly the same. Wheat is the allergen. Egg, milk and mustard. Beef 15%. So it's 227 grams. The ones I reviewed were small. It was a two pack. Geographic origin, UK protected. Genuine made in Cornwall, Cornish pasty. Suitable for freezing. And we've got some spiel there, look. Our expert chefs insist on using fresh, wholesome British ingredients. That's why this classic Cornish recipe has only 100% British beef and locally sourced vegetables, which are packed full of flavor, along with our Ginster's signature peppery kick, all encased in golden bake puff pastry for a delicious Cornish pasty. And we've got some spiel at the bottom there. Did you know that in order to be a real Cornish pasty, the recipe must only include beef, potato, onion, swede and seasoning to taste. Wrapped in pastry and crimped on the side, it must also be made in Cornwall. Well, there we are. It's, it's, that's, it's the real deal, I'm afraid. Many moons ago, I worked at the shipyard in Falmouth, in Cornwall, briefly, um, early 1994, and there used to be a wagon that used to come onto the, the shipyard at dinner time, and there were Cornish pasties, the guy used to make them locally, just in Falmouth, and what a, they were amazing, honestly, they did two sizes, what I can remember, they did like a normal size and a large um, I've told this story before, I think I might have told it on my two years ago, but for people who haven't heard it, here it is. And uh, yeah, if you got a large one, um, it'd sort you out for your lunch and for your tea. They were, they were huge and they were so tasty as well. I've never experienced anything as tasty in, in my life at the time, because I was only young. I think I was only, how old was I then? 20, 21 years old. I didn't know anything. But I knew that they were lovely Cornish pasties and I'll never forget it. Well, I'll tell you what I didn't go over. I didn't go over the uh, cooking procedures. So you can do it in the oven. It says there, uh, look, there's quite a bit of spiel. I'll let you have a look. You probably know about this anyway. Let me know. I'm ready to eat uh, cold as well. So you can eat hot or cold. If you warm me up in the oven or air fry, these turn guidelines only. Do it in the oven or the air fry. You microwave it as well if you so wish desire. Yeah. 
It's all there, all the options are there. Let's get it open and see what we've got. Oh, I've ruined it. I've ruined it, ruined the paste. I've ruined the outside bit. Look, there it is. It's no different from one two years ago, apart from it's bigger. It's crimped there. Tell me what you think. Yeah. Apparently these the, the crimp was um, to, to hold it. The miners used to hold this bit. So because they had dirty hands, they used to hold the the actual crimp bit and then eat the rest and and, wang, and throw the crimp bit away. Let's pop it in the oven. It's going in for 20 minutes. 160 on the bake setting. This is a great idea because the oven gets red hot, warms your plates up, brilliant. So we've got a nice little, we've got a brown tinge to it. Yeah. No soggy bottom neither, holding together well. If you're from Cornwall, do you eat these pies? Please let me know, I'll be interested to see. I'm going to chop it in half. Please let me know your thoughts. Do you eat these pasties? So you're not pies. <laughs> Get pulled up for that as well. I've just chopped it in half and have a look. I'm impressed. I was expecting a massive air gap at the top. Look at that, it's full. Wow, that's unbelievable. I was not expecting that and that side. Absolutely full, brilliant. Oh, it's taste test time. I am looking forward to this. I'm going to chop it down there again. I've been on a bit of a diet. I have been working out this morning. So uh, it's lunch time now. And this is the first food I've eaten today. I'm ready for it. I did an hour in the gym this morning. So looking in there, there's pepper in there. If I remember rightly, it was very peppery. But I like that. I do. Let's try this. Please let me know what you think if you're um, you live in Cornwall. Tell me what you really think of these Cornish pasties from Insta's. Hmm. I'm well impressed. I can't believe it. Look how full it is. I'm absolutely um, over the moon with that. I mean, it is what it is. The pastry is nice and soft, puff pastry. The filling is is well cooked. It's well seasoned, salty, and um, peppery as well. Definitely picking that pepper up. Mm. Definitely better warmed. They're just so bland, aren't they? Everything. Cold pies, that, I mean, pork pies, you eat them cold, but. Pasties and pies. Mmm, very nice. I like it. I like it. I'm going to get another bite now. Look at the ingredients in there, look. I'm just happy it's full. Hmm. Well, that's quite, I'm quite taken aback by that. I don't know if it's because I'm absolutely, this is a treat now, and I'm hungry, but, yeah, 20 minutes, 160. Mmm. No. Been many, many, many years since I tried one, um, an original one. What I remember is the original ones were the they were a lot more fatty 
than this. Yeah. And they were a lot tastier, but you know, I'm gonna have to go back. Mm. Not dry neither. Thanks for watching, do appreciate it. Please let me know what you think. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this now, get that in me. It's not getting wasted, that's for sure. Just gonna have to work uh, extra hard tomorrow in the gym. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know what you think. So take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.